A new twist in the ongoing budget battle between Doug Ford and John Tory. The Premier is now offering to pay for an auditor to go through Toronto's books line by line to find savings. In fact, he's made that offer to all large municipalities and school boards who are struggling to cover shortfalls after unexpected provincial cuts. We want to help them find savings. We're going to be a partner and provide the tools that they need. Today, I'm announcing that we will be providing support to large municipalities and school boards. We're committing $7.35 million through the Audit and Accountability Fund. Toronto says it's facing a $177 million budget gap due to the provincial cuts. The Premier would like all municipalities to find 4% savings and insists it should be easy for Toronto to find 1% saving on every dollar. And in that case, it would work out to be $135 million in savings for TO. Mayor Tory has argued it's impossible to find the savings after the budget has already been tabled less funding was announced. Why didn't you give them a bit of a heads up? Because you've left them scrambling even more so as a result. Well, uh, Cynthia, I'll disagree with that. The fall economic statement was pretty clear from Minister Fideli when he came back in, in September and he came out and said we need to partner with uh, municipalities to find incentives. Our whole campaign was reducing the size and cost of government. Um, now, the mayor is not impressed with the premier's offer of an auditor. Here's what he had to say just before the announcement. If all the province says they're willing to do is to give us some money to do a line-by-line -line audit, which we're already doing year in and year out, without any willingness to discuss both the way in which we save money, but also most particularly when these cuts take effect or when any cuts take effect of any kind, I would view it then more as a public relations stunt. When it comes to the PR battle between the mayor and the premier, it seems John Tory is winning. A new Enveronics poll finds three out of four Ontarians think Doug Ford's government is on the wrong track, in part because of the cuts to public health. The government dismissed the poll today, pointing out it was commissioned by QP, which represents thousands of City of Toronto workers. But two other recent polls have also had Ford slipping in popularity. And last week, he was booed at a Special Olympics event while the mayor was cheered. Now, Minister Bethlen Falvey, who's president of the Treasury Board and holds the purse strings, tells me he expects these audits can take up to six months. Now, what the city is going to do in the meantime is still very unclear. Will they start making cuts or will they start imposing a secondary tax, as has been suggested by the mayor?